We're in, uh, we're in intro. All right, check, check. Mic check. One, two. Mm-hmm. Check it. Yep, yep. Check, check it. All right, cool. So, looks good. Looks like it does the sound. That is what I needed to do. Good, good. Um, you do the sound thing too, and you it speaks and it, it speaks volumes. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and switch it over to. Um, this is a hard one. Because you don't exist. <clears throat> so just the video? Sure, this is good enough. Alright, so we'll just, I'll just show this. I won't even show myself as we read it live. Alright, so. <clears throat> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for Table Talk Thursday, episode 76. I'm your host, Talker Brother underscore one, also known as David, with my co-host here. Uh, Benny Death, I don't know, also known as Kenneth. <clears throat> yes. Well, yeah, thank you for joining us for episode 76. We are, well, Henry's not using his webcam, therefore I am not using my webcam. We will be the faceless voices that you that will read you these stories. Going back to an older format that we did... <clears throat> A year ago. Two years ago? year and a half ago? A year ago. year and a half. Yeah. To the old... Yeah. The OG format. <clears throat> I really did like this format, to be honest. Mm. I also want to point out that, you know, Dakota and everybody else basically said, I like it either way. <laughs> the people that actually watched us and enjoyed watching us didn't care either way. <laughs> yeah. But, oh well. Anyways, <clears throat> Mexican military disarm entire police force in resort city of Acapulco. Acapulco, I believe. Uh, corrupted by drug gangs. Yes, as my joke, well, as my, that's not really a joke, but as my accurate information that whenever I talk about Mexico points out, I'm like, damn, there's so many drug cartels and shit down there. Mm-hmm. It is accurate. To that point, two police commanders have been accused of murder, while the rest of the force officers have been stripped of their guns, radios, and bulletproof vests, and taken for background checks. Wait, wait, what? Hold on. They're stripped of everything, and then... Yeah. Huh. They're taken for background checks. Weird. I can pull, go. I can pull, go. Just hold it. The beach resort was fashionably favored by movie stars in the 50s and 60s, but has since been plagued with escalating violence due to the warring drug gangs. Police and state police and the military will now assume the law enforcement responsibilities in the city, which has some 800,000 citizens. Jeez, that's a lot of people. Yep. I'm just thinking of this last year. Acapulco's uh, murder rate of 103 per 100,000. That means 800 people a year were getting murdered. <clears throat> That's one of the high. highest in Mexico and the world. The CIA says the level of violence is comparable with war zones such as Syria and Iraq. Mm, I wouldn't say that accurate. We killed out thousands of people in like a couple of weeks in, in war zones. I, I wouldn't go that far. Come on, America. Well, we do it. It's not murder. It's like some sort of justified response or something. It's uh, pa- <laughs> it's patriotism. We're, we're, yeah, we're the world police doing they're, the world good or some shit. Cell phone in there. That guy was a terrorist. Now, this, this is crazy. Bodies are regularly dumped on the beachfront or left hanging from the motorway bridges. Wow. Wow. <sighs> That's Ooh. some fucking cartels, man. They uh, don't fuck around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. So Mexican look, police in several parts of Mexico have been disbanded over drug cartel corruption. In Cuero alone, local police have disarmed more than a dozen have been disarmed in more than a dozen towns and cities since 2014. Although none as large as Acapulco. God damn, the entire freaking section of the country. At this point, it's just be taken over by the military and state police. I mean, clearly. Um, I believe, like, uh, at some point, (coughs) 
during like uh, near the border, our national guard was sent in <laughs> to the border towns, uh, basically on the south of the mm-hmm. Texas border, or the Texas guard was sent in one of the two mm-hmm. because the violence had gotten so bad. <clears throat> we were gonna we're gonna oxy clean up the middle America, so the oxy clean oxy clean the Middle East. Is actually clean the Central America. Yeah, that that's a we'll cover this one. Yeah, okay, right that. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> <coughs> Speaking of terrorizers, the Netherlands police arrest foil major terrorist attack. Quotes. <clears throat> so police in the Netherlands have arrested seven men over an alleged plot to carry out what they describe as a major terrorist attack involving guns and explosives. So I'd say it's pretty major. Mm-hmm. This is the Netherlands, though. This isn't even America. It's interesting. Police say the men were trying to source a- AK-47s, hand grenades, and, a- and bomb materials to carry out their attack. The men, aged between 21 and 34, were arrested on Thursday. Three had been arrested previously for trying to travel abroad to join foreign militants, probably ISIS. Prosecutors say the man at the sentry, cent- fucking European English <clears throat> uh, center of the group, is a 34-year-old of Iraqi origin who was convicted in 2017 of trying to travel to fight for the Islamic State group. Who would have guessed that that's what I said? They say they were tipped off about the plot in April 2018 by intelligence services who said the main suspect wanted to target a large event in the Netherlands where there would be a lot of victims. <clears throat> that's probably literally the quote he used in some sort of text. Uh, some men were arrested in the central city of Arnheim. Arnhem? Arnhem, and southern municipality of Weert. What? Wert? 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 Hey, what are we, fucking, like, elites from Halo? Wert, wert, wert. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> on Thursday afternoon, by anti-terrorism teams from the country's special Investi- Inven- In- intervention service, DSI. What? Anyway, <clears throat> uh, prosecutors believe they want to take it. Twin attacks, a volley bomb, gun attack, an event, and car bomb detonated elsewhere. The suspects were in search of AK-47s, handguns, hand grenades, explosive vests, and raw materials for several car bombs. Prosecutors said in a statement. <coughs> Prosecutors wow. say they were allegedly seeking firearms training and were arrested in possession of five small handguns. Uh, National Coordinator for Counterterrorism and Security, NCTV, <clears throat> told local media in a statement that arrests reflect the realistic risk of attacks in the country. The threat level in the Netherlands is currently set at four out of a maximum of five. Oh, wow. That's like orange or whatever for us, I think. <clears throat> and I haven't heard anybody raise the threat level for our country now that I think about it. Just to, quit, just to do a quick Google answer, what is our threat level currently? <coughs> Our threat level currently. Hmm. Mm. Not sure. Uh, that level color. Homeland Security advisory system. Terror alert level. Yes, maybe level such uh, current level. <coughs> Severe, high, elevated, guarded, and low. That was the advisory system. So what are we now? It was replaced by terrorism threat advisory scale. Oh. So this, what is, those are just current advisories. Next term advisory and system bulletin. Uh, <clears throat> issued a bulletin highlighting terror threat to U.S. Hobby, United States in generational fight against terrorists who seek to attack American people, our country, and way of life. An informed, vigilant, and engaged public remains one of our greatest assets to identify potential terrorists and prevent attacks. That seems like an eternal fucking advisory that's just gonna stay there forever. Yeah. Like, that's like so fucking that. vague. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. There's no nothing. There's no colors anymore. That's depressing. I kind of wanted to have colors mm-hmm. for jokes. Yeah. Yeah, it says here so, the Secretary of the DHS for the Obama Administration. Stated that the level understood as a normal alert level would have been considered a higher level years ago, but because of the continual threat, a high threat level is now considered a, as a base level. So it's basically useless. So, long story short, we're just continually at high threat. Mm-hmm. Or maybe we should just realize that there's terrorized all over the world 
and adjust accordingly. Get a threat. Do you get a new threat scale? It's actually accurate. Because <coughs> you know, I, I'm wondering, were were the terrorist organizations always this bad to, to us forever, and we just didn't give a shit until 9/11 or what? Because I don't. The t these terrorist organizations have existed for a long, long time. I mean, some of them are new. Obviously, I, well, ISIS started, was new. Well, most of them were started in the 90s. <clears throat> I thought mm, I was pretty. I'm pretty sure Al Qaeda's been around like, okay, longer than that. No, no, Al Qaeda started in the nineties. Because <coughs> Al Qaeda, uh, let's see, because Al Qaeda was in Afghanistan and they were small. Yeah, it was founded in 1988, so the eighties actually. Okay, okay late eighties. So let's see, the Taliban. Yeah, but they were in Afghanistan and the CIA Taliban's the nineties. Like, <clears throat> by the way. Yeah. Okay. Hezbollah and then the is like, hey, we don't like the ruler of, uh, you know, Afghanistan, so we're gonna arm these rebels and let them battle it out for us. So the Hezbollah is even older. Al, no, nope. Al Nursa friends is newer. Uh, I don't know. Essentially, Mujahideen, those should be old. But that's that's just somebody <coughs> engaged in jihad. This is interesting to actually see. <coughs> Let's see. As we go down the rabbit hole of all of the random, like, Muslim uh, or Islamist uh, things. Kataib party? It's a fucking tree. There's one that's like another tree. 1936. Lebanese Fangelist Party is a Christ, Christian Democratic political party in Lebanon. Wow, <laughs> that moment when the only parties that actually stay real are the Christian parties. Oh shit, Syrian Social Nationalist Party. This is like a, a shuriken, like swastika looking thing. This is kind of interesting now. Hold on, I like this tangent because I find this actually very interesting. <laughs> Uh, goddamn, Syrian Social Nationalist Party has been around since 1932. Jesus. March 8 Alliance, that's going to be something else. 2005. March 14 Alliance. Murado Movement. Lebanese Communist Party. Le Lebanese Forces, which is another tree. I guess trees are good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Future Movement? Oh no, there's something called Future Movement. Sorry, in 2017. <laughs> That's another Lebanese, led by MP and Prime Minister Saad Hariri, Hari, whatever, Amal movement. This is interesting. Progressive Socialist Party. <laughs> they have a hammer and chisel, or a pickaxe and, ch and painters thing. I don't, is that what that is? It's like a brush. Yeah, so it's like, pa pa like pickaxe and brush. Interesting. That's from the 40s. <clears throat> <coughs> they have this crazy looking Albert Einstein looking motherfucker as like their dude right here. From these videos on mm. YouTube. Interesting. It, it, well, the interesting. Oh, there's the Lebanese Communist Party that you spoke about. They have the hammer and sickle and the tree <laughs> and then the, a flag. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so weird. Then this was founded in the tw 1924. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I was unaware Lebanon had so many different groups, to be honest. Well, most of them are not important and don't have any power, so... <clears throat> Well, I mean, it's like America. It's not so Lebanon. The Free Patriotic Movement is just a giant check mark. <clears throat> they might as well just fucking do Nike. Uh, found in 1994. Hmm. This is. I found this to be a very informative and random tangent. I like it. Moving on. So, anyway, back to the real thing. Indeed, real, real. All right, you got the story up or no? Yeah. Okay. Medicare. Actually, not Medicare. Yeah, it is Medicare. Yep. <coughs> Medicare. Medicare. <coughs> Medicare promises free healthcare for half a billion people. Is he being called Medicare because it's like Medicare? Well, no, because his last name is Modi. Ah. I still feel like it's a play on the American, you know, Medicare, because Medicare. I mean, yes. The ambitious program dubbed ModiCare was unveiled in the federal budget earlier this year and launched at the weekend. Designed to offer um, 
Signed off for an estimated 100 million poor and vulnerable families, or an equivalent to an estimated 500 million people, free hospital treatments of up to 500,000 rupees, or $7,800 or $7, per year. Which, I guess, would go an extremely long way in India. I don't know. <clears throat> as, as my coworker likes to say, we pay current employees a billy goat an hour to work. <laughs> <coughs> He's like, yeah, when we could just pay a fucking billy goat an hour for somebody to work. Uh, I'm still waiting to see what happens after the most recent fucking calamity. Did I tell you about what happened? I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. Long story short, uh, our, like, multi-tiered backup solution, like, failed on all those tiers, and VMs were not recoverable. Mm. And some of those were classified as quote-unquote critical, mm. which becomes very bad. <laughs> Who's getting fired for that? <laughs> uh, they, so the head of the company, the head of IT, the guy that's right below the CIO or whatever, he apparently went to India to fire the dude personally. <clears throat> <laughs> he's like, apparently my, my, my co-worker talked to him, he's like, I want to yell at him, degrade him personally in front of everybody, and then he wanted to walk the dude out himself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I'm like, that's fantastic. I'm like, wow, that's like, I mean, at least you you did it with fucking flair, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. Yeah. But what happened was multiple tiers of failure because of this, basically a lot of kind of stupidity. And in a long story short, it's just pure stupidity. Yeah. Oh, that's great, and how ironic considering we're talking about India. Right. No, I guess you could have used. I guess you could use some Medicare for those burns he has. Well, the dude. So, dude not only did the thing, he also took off two days afterward after he made the mistake. So, see the yeah. manager guy is there, like on the hunt for this dude's poon. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Well, no, the, the dude was asking for updates like every <clears throat> every so many hours, asking if we knew who did it, because he's in India. Mm -hmm. He's like, I want to fucking. Personally, walk these dudes out. <laughs> I need an angry translator. Mm, they all speak English. A lot of Indians speak English because they take our jobs. They're all in call centers. <laughs> <clears throat> so oh, there's okay. a giant fucking office building that our dudes inhabit. They're also all scammers. Yeah. Um, yeah. We gotta run those English scams. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, that's always funny when you get called. Hello, I am John from your local company. And it's like, I, yeah. Sure, Prabhu uh, Rajiv or something. I don't know. <clears throat> poor Rajiv. I'm just going to start you. Do you say poor Rajiv? <laughs> I'm just going to start using, like, whatever we have the most of. I'm just going to search through, to, through, through uh, our LDAP system to see, like, what names come up the most that are Indian. I'm just going to start combining the first names and last names and just be like... Just call them that. I feel like that's a racist mm. thing to do. But it's also funny. Especially when it gets spam called. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, back to this. So they're saying a quote from Modi. Such an initiative is unparalleled in terms of scale and extent. I tweeted it. It shows our unwavering commitment to create a healthy India. But while the program has raised hopes for better treatment of India's poor. Critics say the announcement was time to elicit a pre-election boost and question Modi's ability to deliver on his promise. Oh, there's a problem here. Apparently my stream is offline on fucking Mixer. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Not on Twitch. Uh, I see it's on Twitch, which is good. Why is it offline on the, the Mixer? It's weird. Connection expired. Please remove your channel from dashboard reconnecting. Ah, okay. The connection was expired. <coughs> <coughs> That's why. So I have to re add it and redo the thing. That's weird, though, because I should still have the same stream key. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Carry on, though. Yep. Um, so, research unit Capital Economics said the funds for Modi Care are prohibitively small. Observing that only 200 billion rupees, or 0.2% of the GDP, have been allotted each year. 
uh, quote here, better provisions of healthcare can bring several benefits from both an economic and wider perspective. But we doubt that Modi care will have such an impact. Um, India spends only about 1% of its GDP on public health. Uh, if the program is fully taken up, it would cost close to $708 billion, a huge sum for India's $2.4 trillion economy. That's a third of GDP plus. Yeah, give or take about a third of GDP. That is an insane amount of money to spend. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to run the numbers here real quickly on how much $200 billion would get you, considering they're paying 500000 maximum. So at the current 0.2% GDP of $200 billion, they could cover 400,000 people. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to stop streaming for a second to fix this, just so I can be live on both platforms. So give us just a minute as we will offline and 